Crossing the highway late last night You should have looked left and you should have looked right You didn't see the station wagon car The skunk got squashed and there you are You got your dead skunk in the middle of the road Dead skunk in the middle of the road Dead skunk in the middle of the road And he's thinking to high heaven Hi guys, this is how to play um, a song with a G, a C and a D chord. It's called Dead Skunk by uh, Loudon Wainwright. Um, it's a really fun song. I loved it the first time I heard it. Um, I've taught it to a lot of kids over the years and they really love it too. But adults as well. It's, it's a bit of fun and it's the same three chords all the way through the song. Um, no capo needed. So it's just a nice song to play along to the record that's in a very folky style. And your chord sequence throughout the whole song is two beats of a G, two beats of a D, two C's, and then finally two G's. And that just goes in a repetition throughout the whole song. So if we play, starting off on the beat in two, three, four. G, D, S, C, then back to G. Start again. G, D, S, C, then back to G. Now we want to try and play uh, this with a folky strumming pattern, so if you need a bit of help changing between these chords, here's a couple of tips for you. Um, when changing from a G chord to a D chord, it's best if we go for this kind of alternate G. This may be the standard G that you've gone for in the past, or this way, maybe a way that you know how to play a G. But I would recommend, because G to D happens an awful lot, if you play a G with your first, second fingers um, up at the top, and then your third and little finger on the top two strings at the third fret here, that means that we can keep your third finger down when we change between a G and a D, which is really handy for super quick changes in a lot of folk songs. Which happens a lot and that third finger just stays down the whole time. It's also really handy for classic rock guitar as well um, in kind of an ACDC style um, because those two chords get changed between really quick. Um, from a, a D to a C um, you can persevere with just trying to get it and, and back to a G and that's cool or we can go for this C add 9 which is a C that's very similar to a G and kind of sounds uh, very pleasant in, in this kind of context. So in the folk chord sequence which starts on a G, this C is always a good one to go for. If it, if it helps you with your changes then this is cool. And that means that your third finger doesn't move throughout the whole song which should make it easier for you. If it's brand new and you're used to doing a G another way then of course it's going to be tricky at first but in the long run there are always these um, other options that you have to, to play certain con songs, mainly for a certain sound, but um, also just to make it easy for yourself, so there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so play from the top which what, with whatever way you want to, to play with a G to be able to play it along to me, but they're the ways that I recommend. Three, four, G to a D, then a C, Back to G. One more time. G to a D, then a C, back to G. Dead skunk in the middle of the road. Dead skunk in the middle of the road. Dead skunk in the middle of the road, and he's sticking to high heaven. Okie dokie, that's how to play your chords and a bit of help with those changes. If it takes a little bit of time to get it up to speed, don't worry about it, you know, this is a song that you can come back to. Um, if you're rocking and this is sounding pretty good, we can do it with the folk strumming pattern that we've covered in a few of these videos now. Thicker strings on the B and everything on the off beat. So one and two and three and four and. And that will be two thicker string everythings, thicker string everythings twice, then to D, and then C, and a G, and
and uh, again this is where this way to play a C can become real handy um, very similar to a G chord so it makes the changes easier while you're focusing more on your strumming hand if it's something that you struggle with maybe just stay on a G for a little while maybe stay on the G chord but try and get your strumming hand up to the tempo of the song so put the song on no capo needed on this one and think a string down one and two and three and four and if you sometimes if you want to just focus on your strumming hand what you can do is mute your strings totally so here I'm just um, touching my strings so um, my fingers are touching the strings but not the fretboard which will mute them and I can just hear what my right hand is doing percussively so thicker strings everything thicker everything thick everything thick everything and that allows you to hear that you're in time with the record and that you can do this strumming pattern without thinking about your chord changes at the same time, which is really handy. Um, so yes, stick that song on, play along to it, have a look at the lyrics there, frankly hilarious, I really like them. So um, yes, check out any other songs that you like in, in this series of 10 songs, um, because you can play all the chords and you will be able to go for all of them now if you can do this song. And uh, please subscribe so that I make you more videos and hopefully I'll see you again. This place ain't the same, the details have changed since I moved away years ago. The place I was born, where I say I'm from With an accent not strong as before My hometown In my hometown My family I hear, my memories I hear My heart always is in this town Changing from a background, an old mining town, breathing new life all around.